What's up, bodybuilding fans? Dave Palumbo here for another RX Muscle special news update on our 2018 RX Muscle Iron Road to the Olympia. And guess what? Flex Lewis is the name of today's update. If you've seen the pictures, you know what I'm talking about. Jaw hit the ground when I saw it. Wow. 225 pounds, shredded to the bone. All I thought was 1993 Dorian Yates. That was it. If someone would have showed me this picture real quick and flashed it across the screen, I would have said to myself, that's Dorian Yates. I wouldn't have even thought Flex Lewis. That's how good this picture is. This shows you why Flex is having so much trouble, okay, making weight in the 212 division. It's why Flex is leaving the 212 division. I can guarantee you that. The guy can't make weight. He texted me the other day and he was like asking me some, some questions. We were going back and forth. And he said, man, I got to lose 12 pounds. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I said, well, Flex, you know, you're a tough guy. You know, you can endure anything. I said, you'll do it. That's what makes you the best in the world. And I'm thinking, this guy's probably, what's, what's he complaining about? He probably has some fat to lose, right? Then I see this picture and I understand now why he's racking his brain. He has nothing to lose. There's nothing to lose. He only has a little bit of fluid to lose at this point. And that is very nerve wracking because that means he's probably going to have to sacrifice some muscle some fullness, some roundness, some of that freakiness that he has right now. And this is the reason why he's leaving the 212 class. He can't be his best. He's his best at 225. When he comes down to 212, he's still really good, but he is vulnerable to some of the shorter guys who have fuller, rounder muscle bellies who don't have trouble making weight. So, you know, it doesn't feel good to get up on stage and know you don't look your best, okay? And that's, I'm sure, what's going through Flex Lewis's mind. Now, he has nothing left to prove. He's won the division how many times now? You know, a million times. And so he doesn't need to, to prove anything anymore. But yet he's big enough now that I think he realizes, hey, I could do some damage in the open division. If William Bonac could be third at the, at the Olympian, that's not taking anything away from William Bonac. But he was a 212 guy. Why not Flex Lewis, you know? I think he can certainly hang with those guys up there. And I, and I, and I think that he could be a top five guy if he really put his mind to it. Um, from what I hear, rumors, not coming from Flex, I hear he's taking off 2019, next year, and he was going to come back and do the Olympia in 2020, which would be about a two-year window where he wouldn't compete. I think that's a mistake. You know why? Because I don't think he needs to, to gain that much more muscle. At two, if he can gain five pounds of muscle, which is an easy task for him because he's been holding himself back, you know, because of this 212 weight limit, he, at 230, could be crazy dangerous on a pro stage. At his height? Are you kidding me? He could certainly do the Tampa Pro next, next summer, win that, and, and be very dangerous at the Olympia for next year if he really wanted to. I, I, I have no doubt in my mind. There's no reason he has to wait. Now, if he wanted to take off 19 and then come back and do the Arnold Classic in 2020 in the beginning of the year, I think that would be a good move. Imagine winning that show, what kind of momentum you get going into the Olympia that later that year. I think that would be a very good move. But I, to be honest with you, I'd like to see him compete next year. I don't think he needs to wait at this point. He's not 24 years old anymore. He's got all the muscle he needs. He needs a little bit more. And I think he's very competitive and he could win almost every show. Maybe not the Arnold, maybe not the Olympia yet, but he certainly could, could win any other show out there. With his level of conditioning, we don't see this anymore. It's very rare. The only person who has the level of conditioning that Flex Lewis has right now in those pictures is um, Phil Heath and Dexter Jackson, when Dexter's 100%. Those are the guys that, that bring that ultra crazy, dry looking, freaky muscle to the stage. And you know what? That's a rarity. And because that's a rarity, and Flex is a really good poser, he's got good dynamic you know, stage presence, he's charismatic, he can certainly dominate okay on a on an open pro level at at shows lee priest did it and lee wasn't as freaky as as uh as flex was from behind lee had you know other body parts that might have been a little better but you know he was winning pro he won the iron man which is a huge show for him and that was in the back in the day when the guys were crazy good you know so i certainly think that flex is ready for the open class and i think that uh you know maybe if he thinks about it a little more he he'll reconsider doing you know and I, I don't know we're speculating this is all based on rumors that i heard of course he might have every intention to compete next year 
Now, what I would like to see at the, at the Olympia this year, which I think would love, add a level of excitement, especially knowing that this is Flex's last year, would be a pose down, okay, a final pose down between the Open, the 212, and if you want to throw the classic guy in there, you throw the classic guy in there as well. For you, you know what? Pull fifty grand away from the the open guys' prize money. They, he doesn't need four hundred thousand. Give him three hundred fifty thousand, and put fifty thousand up for the overall winner at the very end of the show. Forget the people's champ. No one wants to hear the audience guys vote. People vote anyway. It's not that exciting. Okay. If you can if you can get everyone at home, you know, around the world, that's a different story. But if you only get the audience members, it's not that exciting. What's exciting is the overall. And if you want to let the people in the audience vote for the overall, that's fine. By and far, more than likely, the open guy is going to win it anyway because he's just too big for the other guys. And if he does, he gets his 50 grand back that he was, that he was you know, forfeiting. It should almost be like he has to put the 50 grand up to beat those two guys. Because you know what? Who knows? Maybe, maybe Phil will narrowly win the Olympia this year because everyone's off and he's off a little bit. Flex will look amazing and Flex will win the overall. <laughs> And get the 50 grand extra. Hey, the 212 guy and classic guys are getting no, you know, no money compared to the open guy anyway. Give these guys a chance. It's like a lottery ticket. If, if for something happens that they look that great and the other guys are off a little bit, maybe they could you know, win the, the overall. You know, it won't count towards anything other than an asterisk in the history books, but it'll be exciting. To me, that would be super exciting. I'd love to see Flex up there. Flex would pose as, he would be the, the greatest you know, posing exhibition you've ever seen from Flex. He'd be so excited up there. He'd have so much energy. He'd be pumped to get up there against the top guy in the world, whether it be Phil or if someone beats him this year, which is unlikely, but it's possible. I mean, come on. That would infuse this sport with energy. But you know what? Even if it never happens, when Flex goes to that open class, he's going to bring new life to the open. I'm telling you why. Because people like him, number one. He's very, very enthusiastic he's got a tremendous amount of energy we have yet to see the best of flex lewis i know that for a fact because he's holding himself back and people know this and i think that flex while he makes a very good living for himself i'm sure has never gotten the true rewards of a purse a bodybuilder of his caliber deserves you know back in the day you know in the 90s he would have been competing with all the open guys all along just like sean ray did sean ray was winning won the arnold classic I mean, why not Flex Lewis? So I think Flex has missed out on a lot of money, opportunities, and he's missed out on a lot of glory. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, who really remembers the 212 guys? You remember the open guys. You know, when history, you know, you, know, you go back and say, oh, who won the Mr. Olympia? No one thinks, well, who won the 212 Olympia? You know, I think that Flex deserves to be in that open class. Uh, I think he's got a lot of talent. I think he's still young enough that he could really shine. And I think he's just coming into his peak years now. Great move on his part, but I got to tell you, that picture blew my mind. I'm sure Dorian Yates is looking at it and saying, holy mackerel, that looks familiar. Good luck at that Olympia Flex. I know you'll make that 12 pounds, and uh, I, I think you'll make history this year once again. Dave Palumbo here with a 2018 RX Muscle Iron Road to the Olympia special update.